Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Mad Mark here. Um, haven't done a video in a while, so I figured uh, I might as well make one, get my channel rolling again. It's kind of been stagnant for a while, so um, you know, I'm going to have more time to invest in it, so I'm, I'm going to start making videos again, I think. Um, this is just a little quick update. I haven't really bought any new knives or any new gear or anything like that lately. Nothing to review or kind of give my opinions on. Uh, what I've been doing is a lot of uh, nunchucking. Kind of making my own nunchucks. Um, these are a pair of nunchucks that I bought. You've probably seen these ones before. They, they look like this originally. And they're wood all the way up here. And then usually there is a chain at the top. There's like a chain with a ball bearing. But um, I have a target outside. And I hit the target a few times. And the friggin' chain broke right off. So I mean that's kind of defeats the whole purpose of a nunchuck. If when you hit something the nunchuck's going to friggin' break on you. So what I did is I took the uh, the sticks, I cut off the tops, and I basically just drilled some holes in it, and I ran some 550 paracord through it. You can see uh, the knot in there. So that's the knot. I don't know if you can see that clearly. This camera doesn't focus properly, but the knot is uh, in the hole. Um, <laughs> Um, basically I, you know, you have to burn it, make sure that it's, it's really a, a good, a well tied knot or else, you know, these are going to come loose and, you know, fly across the yard and hit somebody in the face or something like that. Anyway, so these are just a pair of modified nunchucks that I bought. So, I mean, they're still cool. I like them because they're a little bit shorter. Uh, normally nunchucks are about uh, 12 inches. These are about 11 so they're a little more compact, they're a little more, I don't know, I, f I just find they're better. they got a really good weight to them, and, you know, they're really good to swing. Um, let me show you what I've been working on. Um, what I actually did is I went to my local hardware store, uh, and I bought myself some of these here wooden dowels. It's about, uh, well, I don't know, about three feet long, maybe a little less than three feet. But, uh, yeah, I bought this wooden dowel. And I bought two of them, and the other one I already started working on. So, I um, actually made my own custom pair of nunchucks here. And basically what I did is I just took the, uh, the wooden dowel, I took a Dremel tool, I kind of tried to uh, make it a little smoother so it's not just a straight cylinder, like it kind of has an angle to it here. I sanded it, um, and I mean they're very simple to make. You drill some big holes in the top, as you can see, two big holes, then two holes across. Um, get yourself some 550 paracord. I bought this, I had like 100 feet for like 12 bucks, I think it was. This is actually OD green. I thought it was black. When I saw it in the store, it looked black, so I bought it. I, you know, I didn't intentionally get the OD green, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to go back and get the black one. I put the OD green in my bug out bag, so that's where it'll, uh, it'll stay. Um... For these, I mean, I made them, there are a couple issues with them. First off, sick. My first real pair of nunchucks that are 100% made by me, uh, I think they're they're pretty cool. Um, the only problem is, these are smaller, they, these are bigger, if you look, they're about an inch bigger than the other ones. Line these up perfectly, so they're lined up at the top. Yeah, they're about an inch bigger than the other ones. These are way too light. If that's what you like, if you're just looking to mess around with them, uh, I mean, that's fine. But I like some nunchucks with some weight to it. These ones have a really good weight to it. The, the, the wood is heavier. It's a denser wood. I don't know what it is. It didn't say when I bought them. Um, this, I don't know if it says on the actual dowel what type of wood it is. There's a sticker on there. Uh, it is. It says Madison... Made in the USA, one and one eighth times thirty six. That's thirty six inches. Um, poplar dowel. And then it says, I guess it's poplar. I guess that's the name of the tree. And it says saving the tropical rainforest. So uh, my nunchucks are saving the rainforest, which is cool. Didn't know that till just now. But uh, yeah, the thing is, they're not heavy enough. I definitely need to add some weight to these. So what I'm thinking about doing, and let me know your comments on this, is drilling holes in the bottom on both sides and just putting a big bolt, like a long bolt, like maybe like a good, like, I don't know, four-inch bolt into that 
nunchuck to just give it some weight because the only part you hit with of the nunchuck is just the end of it. So as long as the end is good and heavy, I mean, it should be good. You know, um, not really sure how that's going to work out, but, um, you know, I'm going to give it a shot because these are too light. I mean, they're still cool. There's, I can still, I can still, um, I can still swing them, but, you know, they're too light. Um, another cool thing I did is with the, um, I used to play hockey, so this is something we used to do with our sticks. Um, to add grip, you know, I put, uh, this is electrical tape. Electrical tape is not necessarily the most grippiest stuff out there, but it does add a little bit of grip. Um, what I did here is I just twisted a piece of tape and wrapped it around first before I wrapped the nunchuck and tape. So it gives you a really good grip right here. When you're holding it right here, uh, that thing is not coming out of your hand. You know, the grip is really good on that. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. I'm going to keep modifying these. Uh, eventually, what I want to do is I want to make nunchucks and I want to paint them myself. Instead of just putting tape on them, I want to, you know, maybe stain the wood or, um, you know, paint them. Make them nice, decorative, so I can actually, you know, maybe just hang them on the wall and have just a bunch of nunchucks on the wall or something. But, um, yeah, I mean, so far, I mean, it's pretty good. I have no complaints. It's a little hard to uh, to string these. I've only used a, a double string. There's a triple string, and there's all kinds of things on YouTube about how to string them. And uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is the knot will not stay in there. So I might have to restring these and do a new knot, or maybe make the hole a bit bigger. I'm not sure. But um, all in all, that's my first. Not not too bad for my uh, my first pair of nunchucks. And as you can see, I have been using them. So, uh, yeah, they have dents and shit in them because I do use my nunchucks. I don't just make them and hang them up and not use them. I'll do that when I paint them and I spend, you know, a couple hours painting uh, one set of nunchucks. Yeah, then maybe I'll just want to hang them on the wall. I might not want to go out back and hit stuff with them. But when I practice my nunchucks, I practice striking. I practice recovering from the strike. So, yeah, I, I bang my nunchucks up. So, you know, if you... This is the best way to go. If you're just going to make them yourself, you know, if I break these tomorrow, I make another pair tomorrow. So it's awesome. Um, I wonder if, one thing I'm, I'm wondering is if I could get wooden dowels made of different types of wood. And if anybody knows, you know, anything about that, definitely let me know because I would like to get some really dense, heavy wood and make a good pair of chucks. Really take my time and, you know, really make sure that, that you know, I, I do a good job on all the little fine details and you know sand everything out properly you know make sure everything nice and smooth which i i mean this i kind of made it a little bit quick but um yeah they're, they're pretty dope so let me know what you think uh you know i'm, I'm really into nunchucking still into knives still into gear still a you know zombie killer zombie hunter um you know i'm, I'm obsessed with looking at uh, machetes and gear and stuff online but uh lately you know i've just been uh nunchucking because you know, why not? I want to learn as many skills as possible. I learned how to use a karambit. Pretty darn good with a karambit. Uh, pretty darn good with these nunchucks. Uh, you know, maybe I'll look at, uh, you know, katana fighting or something next. But um, for right now, I'm nunchucking. And, uh, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, these are my custom nunchucks. So check them out. Let me know what you think. Later, YouTube. Peace. <laughs>